don't push her off that ledge. Don't you push her off that ledge, Ruby. Don't you push her off that ledge. And don't push me off that ledge, neither. Oh, no, there's a kitty cat. Hey, Patches. Hey, Patches, what are you doing down there? Lord. That's dangerous. Come on, kitty, get out of there. Cougars can climb trees. Cougars can, y'all. Cougars can climb trees. So can bobcats. It's a beautiful morning here, but we're not going to talk about that right now. What I want to focus on is the most amazing dog ever. You see her right there. It's kind of hard to see, and I can't zoom any further. That's Sadie. Friends, Sadie is lying in the pasture, hanging out with our goats. She has the big birds on the other side, and then right behind the side-by-side -side is Danny and Ruby. But what I love about this over here is Sadie does not have to be in there. You already know that our dogs can come in and out. They have ways to get in and out of the pastures, and we do not, we do not put our dogs into a pasture and force them to stay there. But on her own, on her own, she has sort of a Maybe she feels like an obligation or a duty that she has to serve, and that is to protect these babies. And you can find her throughout the day in different pastures. She'll lay for a while with the goats. At some point, she'll make her way around to where the calves are at. If the goats or the calves wander off, she'll be right with them. You know, they often go off to graze and to eat, to nurse themselves, and she's right alongside them. If I take the goats for a walk, she's going to come right with us. And I think that's the most amazing thing. Everyone has told us for years and years about the great Pyrenees and how wonderful they are, you know, as livestock guardians. And I don't know exactly if they were bred for that or how it all came about. But listen to me, they are the most amazing dogs ever. I know you see Sadie in tons of our videos. And I just hope that we never forget how much she adds to what we do here and all the protection that she offers our babies. Now, we have other amazing dogs. Everyone knows that Stella is a really wonderful, nurturing type of dog. She's had a really rough go of things. But as far as helping us protect the kittens and the little baby goats... I mean, she is top-notch mom of the year. Absolutely mom of the year. We have this one over here. <laughs> God help us. All she wants to do right now is to have me crank up that side-by-side. -side. That, that, no, her dream, her desire as of right now is, Dad, please crank up this side-by-side. -side. I need to chase it. I need to bite at the tires. My purpose in life is to suck down the exhaust as much as I can and still walk. If I walk out towards my truck later, she'll be right at my heels and she will be jumping and just begging to get in that back seat to ride with me wherever I go. Uh, I'm gonna have a really hard time talking about Millie. I will say that Millie is sweet, Millie's cute, Millie's playful, but Millie doesn't really do much to contribute like everyone else does around here. Millie will set out with Fiona. Now, I don't see Fiona right now. I would love to show you Fiona. I don't really know where Fiona's at at the moment. But Fiona will lay. I'll show you. Fiona likes to lay right over here. This is actually Fiona's spot that I'm walking up on over here. 
And what I love about Fiona Spot, this is where you can find her every evening and through the entirety of the night. She lays right about through here. And listen to me, it could be cold, it could be hot. It could, there's Fiona over here now. Uh, she's over here doing her job. Sorry, I'm trying to walk right now. Look at here. You see her right there on the ground. Today, she's decided to guard this pasture, protect the big birds, Tex and his friends. Whereas you saw Sadie doing her job over here on this side of the pasture. But normally at nighttime, if you ever look for Fiona, you'll find her right around here. And from this spot, she can literally see all of our babies from one vantage point. And so how strategic. You never teach them that. You never go by and have to teach them what to do. They just know. And that's amazing to me. And I know you have dogs or cats and you have, you know, you can see their really unique and amazing personalities and characteristics. But there's just something super amazing with Sadie and Fiona when it comes to animals and, and guardians of our animals. And how crazy that Sadie was a rescue. Just a rescue from the neighborhood. And she's turned into be such a beautiful, beautiful help around the property. I know you're probably saying, Lester, don't forget, you need to talk about Christmas and how wonderful she is. <laughs> and don't forget Ritzy. Yes, they're all wonderful, guys. All of our dogs are wonderful. They get along so well. We've been able to, to prevent the pack mentality that everyone warned us about. Even our vets warned us. As You can have as many dogs as you want as long as you never let them form a pack mentality. That's the one thing that you do not want is when they start acting as one. And so we've never seen that. I want you to notice how an hour ago, our sweet Sadie was lying out here in the goat pasture. But now, look at here, she's walked over to join the calves in their pasture. <laughs> I love her so much. We're gonna all go walk down to the river now. Uh-oh. First of all, we got Ruby going to go start some mess with Sadie. Ruby gives her such a hard time, and Ruby has no idea how great Sadie is for her and with her, and how much she's helped Jamie and I. If you remember, there was a time when Jamie was coming in bruised and battered after trying to bottle feed these girls because they would just put such a workout on her. <laughs> but now we're able to bottle feed them through the fence. Sadie's still a sweet girl. I'm going to rake my pastures on Friday. So we're going to walk down to the river, but I'm not going to go through the bird pasture. The birds are not being very nice right now. It's, hey, sweetie. Hi, my love. <sighs> yeah, the birds are not being real nice right now. And so we're just going to avoid them all together. But we are going to walk out over here. Come on, girls. Y'all follow daddy. And we're going to pick up our goats along the way. Now, when I say pick up, you know what I mean. The goats are going to follow us, which will be great. And we'll all go down to the river and fill their bellies. Now, our longhorns are already down there. I'll tell y'all one thing. I used to rake. I used to rake on Fridays. Well, today's only my Wednesday, and I feel like I should have raked two days ago. It's with having the cows come up, and of course they're getting their hay over here. They're even sleeping here at night. It's really making my pastures dirty, and that's fine. I mean, we're used to it. When you have cows, I just, <laughs> it puts a lot more work on me, which is fine. Sweetie, please don't be doing that all the way to the river. If we have to do this all the way to the river. <sighs> hey, boys. How you doing, fellas? You guys being nice or y'all being mean today? Look how big this bird is. I feel like he stands 10 foot right now. Sir, we're walking down to the river. He is a such, look how, look at the size difference in those two. 
My goodness gracious, Tat. You gotta stop eating so much, buddy. No, he's not a fat, uh uh Don't you do that. Ruby, I'm so sorry. There's no need in all of that nonsense, buddy. There's no need in that. Now, the scary thing is I'm gonna walk to this fence over here and that gate's open. So Carl and Tat could both come out if they wanted to. <gasps> Please don't come out. Oh Lord, are they coming out? They're not coming out, but I. But they could if they wanted to. Let's hope that they don't. Because I. there's no way I'm going to outrun that bird. There is no way I'm going to be able to outrun that bird, y'all. All right, y'all keep me safe. Y'all keep Daddy safe, okay? Maybe they'll start slowly backing up once I get away from their fence. Y'all hear Tech screaming. He wants his ladies home. And the girls are not going to come home anytime soon. They're off in the woods doing what they do every day, and they're fine. Come on, girls, let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. Y'all just follow me, and I'll keep you safe from these big, mean birds. I don't like the big, mean birds either. So this is, might give y'all a better idea of how there's no grass on this pasture whatsoever. We're going to have to do a whole... I'm afraid, I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do an entire, at least six month program of trying to get decent soil here. And that's going to be pretty much starting over from scratch. The land's being cleared, which is great, but I'm gonna have to get lime, and I have to do that through the feed store. I will have to go buy and disc, and then replant seed six weeks after that. So there's no hope for us having grass anytime soon. None, no hope. All right, we're gonna hope that Tat does not come over here. I'm walking far enough away. Oh Lord, he is. Ruby and Danny, y'all might wanna run, cause I may have to run. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I'm in the same pasture as Carl. That's not good, cause they're not, got, they did not have Jesus in their heart. Y'all need to get Jesus in your heart. Hurry up, Bert, uh, boys, girls, just come on. Uh, you need to come on, sweetie, okay. Now we got a gate we can close. The only problem is our leader, Lenny, is not, come on, Lenny, we need you to come with us. Tat, we don't need you to come. Boy, these birds are something else. Come on, Lenny. Come on, Brady, you big galoot. Come on, little goats. Come on, babies. Y'all give me a minute here. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.